So it's been a little bit since I sat down and did a Fruits Basket video. I know many were wondering if I dropped this series, and I just want to quickly say, no, I didn't drop Fruits Basket. It's just, uh, you know, busy, things happen here and there, and just things got delayed. And that's pretty much what it's been for these past few episode reviews, as you noticed. But uh, anyways, I'm back, and I'm here to talk about Fruits Basket, and just, I do want to briefly talk about last week's episode. So... Just to get right into it, last week's episode was really emotional. Like, straight up, that was some emotional... I can't say the word because YouTube doesn't like it, but it, it, it was very emotional. And I'm really proud of Yuki, Kyo, and just, you know, Toru as a character. And just her decision, the grandpa as well. It was just a really beautiful episode last week. And I just love the development of Toru's character, realizing that sometimes she could be slightly a little bit more assertive or selfish for what she wants. And I just appreciate that. I really do. It's a great, great episode and easily one of my favorites of Fruits Basket thus far. I think it's honestly better than the recent episode that just came out. So, so anyways, with that out of the way, though, I want to talk about this week's episode. This episode, it's really good. And very emotional in a different way. The almost, it's kind of the exact opposite, honestly. You have it to where Toru's friends, her like childhood friends pretty much, are there for her and watch over her and want to make sure that she's in an environment that actually is good for her. We know for a fact how the Somas are. For instance, how Kyo and how Yuki and all of them are. We know for a fact that they're good people. There is some that is a little bit questionable part of their family. For instance, the doctor that was introduced in this episode. But overall, though, most of the main cast members that we have seen, they're pretty good people. And Toru is definitely in good hands. And seeing the, her two friends come in and want to just check it out, it shows their connection. They just are looking out for their friend. They want to make sure that she's not in a, an environment that's really harming her. Because they know for a fact with her as a person, she's someone that will hide things. She's someone that will not really say anything if something's going on. Like if she's suffering or if, if it's a painful situation, she'll usually just keep it to herself and not bother anyone. They're very aware of how she is as an individual. And so they honestly wanted to check in just to make sure nothing was really going on. And after looking at everybody that was a part of the Soma family, they're like, you know what, it's fine for her to be here. It's just, it's a really sweet scene. It's a very sweet episode, honestly, just to show the connection of these friends and how Toru was for, there for them and they're technically there for her and they're like the silent like parents watching their child grow up. But okay, anyways, let's talk about how adorable that scene was with the rabbit and Toru. When the little bunny just jumped, oh my god, that was so cute. It was so cute. Like, I'm a big fan. I think that might be my favorite Soma character, a part of the main cast, because the little bunny, I, I'm a sucker for bunnies, and just seeing the way the bunny was, and the color scheme of it, and just the voice acting, it was super cute. I want more of it, honestly, and I do hope that the character is a frequent, you know, returning character, and isn't a character that's just going to be a background character that isn't shown that much. But that was definitely a cute scene for me. But besides that, there was another thing, too, and it was the stuff with... Yuki. Yuki actually dressed up as a girl within this episode, and basically we find out that he's very embarrassed of his feminine look. He doesn't like to look very feminine because obviously he has a very feminine face, and he doesn't like to be treated like he did in this episode. He felt very embarrassed and upset, and with the whole conversation on the rooftop with Tor uh, Toru and him, that was revealed, and eventually she's like, before over everything, besides him just being cute and all that, He's very cool. The way he worded himself is like, you're very cute. It would, this, you know, dress would look very cute on you. And then he walks off. Basically, Toru was reminded that he is definitely a dude, not a woman. And it's just a really wonderful scene as well. And I think the more that the series progresses, the more I'm actually getting on board with the Yuki Toru ship. Because this is a, you know, a romance series. And Obviously, Tardu is going to end up with a character before everything is said and done, because for this to be such a cult classic, like it's a classic among many fans, Fruit Baskets has survived throughout the ages, then obviously there has to be a really good conclusion and a satisfying romantic, you know, pairing. So I'm assuming Yuki and Tardu are going to end up together just because of all the little signs being kind of mentioned here and there. Which, by the way, let's get into that. 
in this episode, Toru talks about herself, a little bit about her past of when she was being bullied. And when she was being bullied, she was very upset, she got emotional, and this boy walked up to her and basically gave her his hat. And she doesn't really know who this person is. We, as watchers, don't know who the person is. However, we could pick up clear signs from the scene of who it might be. It could be like a, you know, just a, a wrench in a plan and may, maybe throwing us off from what's really going on. But from my, like, impressions of the episode, it seems like they were trying to imply the boy that gave Toru the hat was actually Yuki. Because... When you look at the boy's design, he had a similar hairstyle. The hairstyle was pretty much the exact same as Yuki in current day. Obviously, from childhood to adulthood or, you know, teenage years, your hair might change somewhat. But at the end of the day, this is anime and obviously clear signs like that kind of point to it potentially being Yuki. And since Yuki was going through a lot of emotional problems at that time when, you know, he was being isolated, he thought he was potentially a monster, people wouldn't like him if they found out his secret, it makes sense why he would have that hat. And seeing someone being bullied like, you know, Toru and just watching from an appearance, maybe he just in his own way, he wanted to help her out so that's why he gave her a hat regardless though when that scene does happen it shifts over to showing yuki when toru's like most likely the boy doesn't remember or whatever he most likely has completely forgotten about it or whatever and it shows yuki so it makes me believe that yuki is the individual that gave over the hat to toru the question is if it is yuki does he remember, or if it is someone else? Now, obviously, Kyo was the one that listened in, and because of his overall reaction, it makes me assume that he's kind of aware of it, which, it might be Kyo. For all we know, it might be Kyo that actually is the one that gave the hat. Who really knows at this point? But it does seem like it's going to lead into something very important. There's something definitely being implied from that scene that... Toru is definitely connected to, at the very least, one of the Zodiacs, even if it isn't, you know, Yuki or Kyo, it's definitely one of them. So we'll find out in due time. It might even be, uh, I think the name is Akito, you know, the character that's potentially not a good person that was said in this middle of this episode. That's also a possibility. That's a very likely possibility. Maybe the person is Akito. But oh god. Anyways, let's talk about some of the build-up that this episode is trying to do. One of the big things is, is that we're introduced to a character, the Doctor, that's a part of the Soma family, that has the ability to obviously cause the hypnosis, to basically cause it to where you forget your memories of certain events. And I feel like, before everything is said and done, Toru is probably going to get hypnotized. It's just, for a plot point like that to be in a series like this, it's going to need to add some form of drama eventually. It's just, it's bound to happen. I'm not saying it's, you know, bad because it's predictable, it just, it's gonna happen. And I feel like, in this little event that's gonna go on, she might not get brainwashed slash, you know, hypnotized yet, but there's gonna come a time to where she's going to. And if she starts to find out some secrets or something about maybe the Soma's a little bit more, then I feel like that's when he'll probably step in and do something. Which, by the way, he definitely threatened Taru in this episode. He's like, if you don't come here alone, and if you tell everyone, then obviously your memories are going to be wiped. That's pretty much what he said to her. So, he's threatening her. And I feel like that's very scary. And at the same time, he's also like, you might even be able to meet Akito as well, which implies that we know for a fact Akito wants Toru to end up in, like, failure. Like, the entire situation with her and the Soma family, Akito wants Toru just to fail. But obviously that's not happening, so most likely Akito and the Doctor might take matters into their own hands to really mess things up. That's my personal opinion on that. But, um, overall, though, I think this episode had a really good mix. It had a good mix of comedy and and serious moments. There was some lighthearted tones throughout the episode, some nice emotional build-up with, you know, the, the the best friends of Toru, and also a little bit more development on some of our characters. I think this was a very qu good and quality episode. This is what you do for an anime series, and this is a really fantastic slice of life show from 2019. And like I said, I'm just really glad to be able to experience Fruits Basket, because I missed it. I, I, I never got to watch it when it first came out, and I know it became anime original. Never read the manga, so it's very nice to be able to witness this, you know, series firsthand, a brand new adaptation that has actually given, you know, love to the original source. So I think many can agree that, you know, this is a good time to be a Fruits Basket fan. 
So I think that's about it. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below how you felt about this week's episode of Fruits Basket. Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Did you like, you know, the uh, the comedy scenes to the emotional scenes to the build-up? Let me know your honest thoughts in the comments below. So um, if you enjoy my content, you know, please subscribe. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you want to get notified for whenever I upload a video, please click the bell icon down below. Because for some reason, even if you click the subscribe button, you don't always get notified. So if you do want to get notified, hit that bell icon. And this doesn't go just for me. This goes for all YouTubers on the platform. So even if you don't care about me and you don't want to get notified by me and my videos, at the very least, do it for the YouTubers you care about because it does help us out a lot. And so with that, I love you guys. Be safe. Stay healthy. Chibi out.